folks. This is my solar power, solar panels for my solar power system. I need to tidy those wires up, but that'll be later. But you can see there's three and three on a stand. I could put one in the middle, but I don't think I'm going to. It's on a four by four post. Yes, it's leaning. Uh, apparently that post isn't quite strong enough. I'll have to fix that later. The wires come down into this junction box where they all combine into a bus bar and power, go, uh, power cable goes down around there, underground, and up into the back of the shed here. And then from the back of the shed it comes in, comes in behind that uh, 110 breaker box, goes over to that uh, uh, combiner block, into my solar char charger, and into the, the golf cart battery you see here. And from the golf cart batteries, it comes down to this behemoth now. It used to go to that one. Sorry for my moving the camera too fast. But yeah, yeah. now it's got this. There's a two, um, Chicago Electric, uh, 2000, 4000 um, watt inverter. It comes out of the inverter through a service cable back into the 110 box. From the 110 box, it goes up through the wiring that I've stapled and all that mess into my, oops, well, not a very good recorder, so please go into my lights, which I right now have uh, three three permanents and one little I don't know what you call that thing. It's just a it used to be a clamp light that I took the clamp off of because the clamp broke. Got my little radio and sit, well, I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? Over there somewhere. Yeah, there it is. But now, with the addition of the 2,000 watt Power supply, got a five horse air compressor. Oop. And heh, guess what? It's full, so it cut off. Let's run some air out of it. I'll be right back. Right, let's run air out of it. Let's see if it'll crank over. Yep. Now come back over here. Still plenty of power left in the unit. Not running too much because it ain't charged, charged yet. But uh, see. 